Welcome to Mommy Issues, a podcast where an ex-reality TV star mom and her reality TV loving daughter bridge the gap between their generations through celeb news, all things Bravo, and their own personal mommy issues. Where is your statement jewelry? I took it off. I didn't want to compete with you. Oh, okay. Then I put another necklace on, which wasn't what I wanted to do. So now I'm going to take it off. Okay. Well, just so you know, I'm going to need that necklace that you have on, like the original one. Oh, with the bracelet? Oh, it's so cute. Everything. You want everything. I want want everything. Well, because you have, you have, you because I'm your Lorelei. You wish. Um, Actually, you love that Lisette Moreau stuff uh, because every time I'm wearing her stuff, you steal it from me. So you should tag her. And maybe she'll send you something. Is that the the pearl Everything necklace that you have? You. Oh God, the the one with the pearls that has the little flowers Hearts, on it. Yeah. I love that one. I know. Love. I'm gonna go do that. So freaking cute. Um. All okay. right. Let Wait, me go. Am I that. am I uh pale because I got the best new blush in the world? Put it on. No, you're you're actually you're blushed I, up. Too much? No, no, not too much. I'm just. Thinking. My God, Beva, don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me I'm too much let me tell you what I've been thinking about for when we blow up because we will one for I, I've been thinking oh. about our merch oh my god oh we have merch you know the the we right but it's got to be really cute yeah you yeah, know yeah. and, no, it, and not, not just merch for the sake of merch it's got to be the that's right what I'm, fabric that's what I'm it's... saying like if and when it, it would be when we do it it's not gonna be now it might not even be a year from now so nobody be like when is it it's not coming at any point in time right now I'm just ideating because I think about the things that we say a lot first of all the mommy Monday thing that I was telling you about of like how I call my hard overwhelming Mondays mommy Mondays is not because of mommy issues it's because you get overwhelmed on Mondays so I'm like I channel you but also we drop the channel podcast. me but we dropped the podcast on Monday. So I'm like, mommy Mondays. Great. Fucking, That's cute. Great yeah. merch. Also, I feel like another merching is, am I too pale? <laughs> like, you always say that you, every time we start the podcast oh, or, oh, I'm blurred already. Mm. That, that was, was funny. That and was by the way, funny. that promo just inside baseball got like 4,000 views on Instagram really is that crazy that's so nice I was like should I can you hold on one second because I forgot something hold on just one second talk to our people they're your people they are my people hey hey guys (laughs) I do feel strange when it's just me alone because I'm literally talking to myself which makes me think of if you follow um Amanda Hirsch from the uh, not skinny but not fat podcast slash not skinny but not fat Instagram. She does a lot of solo podcasts. I feel like a lot of people do a lot of solo podcasts. Like, how do people do that? That's insane. You're just talking to yourself the whole time. I guess I could do that. I bet I could do a solo pod about Sophie and Joe, which I won't mention because my mom's back. Okay. On. Hi. So, so here's the thing. Um, you know how I was ready so early. But mm-hmm. like it was too early. So then that's why I'm late. Cause you know, I had to take shit off because then I had to like my cleaning ladies didn't come and you know, my house has to be Cuban clean all the time. So I like did this whole, like whatever. And then of course I have to work. So then the stuff that I had planned for later, I had to do earlier. Okay. And yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, let's start the show. Shall we? Shall we? Hello, By the guys. way, Ken, you can just tell him to go screw himself, but he thinks we dwell too much on your lowliness. <laughs> Well, it's too bad. <laughs> Let's tell you. Um, well, one of my highlights, if you're watching on YouTube, you can see behind me. Look at that organization, that toy organization. I know. That's amazing. Can you believe, guys? Did you try the booties, this combat boots that I got Lola the way I told you? Because no, I do research on these not things. I'm yet. right though. Not yet because we but it that's a great idea. It's just we're in a heat wave right now. So it was like I'm oh, not putting okay. this on her. Well, she needs mobility in her ankles. Just saying. Okay, great. Why don't we get into highlights and lowlights? Would you like to okay. go first? No, you go first because I can't remember anything. Okay, but I have stories and stuff. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, my highlights, my highlights, I got called by Walmart to open call right. to present my new line of frozen stuff. So Yay, I will be yeah. in Bentonville, Arkansas, um, October 24th and 25th. And I love it there. And I love my Walmart family. And I'm so excited. And so, yeah, that's happening. Highlight. Low light, uh, no low lights. Okay, wow. No low lights. I miss Lola. That's always, always my low light. I miss Lola. Low light. 
which um by the way look at this amazing who mug. gave you that it says a star is born on it wait a star is born uh-huh. <laughs> us who husband. gave you that um uh, maria elena my aunt oh that's like, so nice a while back but um it's the greatest mug in the world um okay my what do i i'll do my highlight first my highlight is me and john liam have booked divorced. Tr- no not yet no. <laughs> we're not there yet <laughs> um me and john liam are going on a trip without lola for the first time since having her actually for the me and john liam haven't gone on a trip since we went to turkey in 2021 isn't oh my that god i'm going and it's almost room. 2024 okay and the, and the- my mom is coming to take care of Lola for the time that we're there, which is like four nights or something. Um, I'm going on Christmas day. Uh, yeah. Like which um, mom of the year over here. I'm leaving my kid on Christmas to go on a trip with grandmother her. of the year. I'm going flying on Christmas to be with my granddaughter. Yes. Which is so nice. And we're so grateful. And when you come in at the end of October, you're coming for a training, by the way, that's going to be. A oh, training. well, I'm, I have to, I had to change that trip because they called me for open call so now I have to change all that so I don't know where I'm gonna go but I'm going before anyway okay probably early November okay great well whatever when when you come it's gonna be training (laughs) oh okay I'm gonna train you how to be a mom okay that's no I mean I'll I'll put some notes together not train you how to be a mom train you uh, with Lola's schedule like right you can't just do your schedule you have to do her schedule you know when you were here for 10 days I was amazing with Lola yes of course but I was also there I'm saying like you had me to like what a listen listen I'm gonna I am you, going period. to follow all your instructions to the T do you think I want her to I'm suffer make a binder way? make a binder make a binder make a how-to video make a whatever all of it <laughs> I'm gonna do a binder and it's gonna be great um okay anyways that's my highlight that we're going to we're going on a trip and we need it and I'm very excited about it um are you gonna have a lot of sex I'm moving on. My low light is you should. It's important. My low light is that Lola had her first temper tantrum and it freaked me out so much. And you wanted to take her to the hospital. That I almost took her to the hospital. Let me let me tell you the story though, because I also told this to my friend Kayla, who has a baby that's two months older than Lola, and like basically the same thing happened. And I was like, okay, I feel not that crazy. So after daycare, Lola's like very tired because she's so stimulated. They do music class. They do finger painting. There's like a lot of stuff happening. So she's not like up for the most crazy activity after daycare. Like, I I think we realize now we have to come home. We just feed her. We play with her toys here. We do dinner early. We go to sleep early. Okay. What is this? Who told you you all that? You no. Yes, I'm, I know. I will read the text that you sent me that you made me feel bad about. Okay. Yep. Because because I have a sense of humor. No, it's not a sense of humor. By the way, the, the day she had the tantrum was the day she was wearing the flower sweater. I got her. Got her. Uh, I don't remember. Yes. Yes. Because today you po- today when you sent the family pictures. Oh yeah. John Liam was carrying her to the park and the way she looks at her father was like, Oh, we're together. I have you to myself. Goodbye. Or I'm not doing this yeah. with you. No, no, I'm let, just telling you that's what she needed. No, let me tell you something. You don't know Lola's day to day. You don't know how she is. Let me explain the story so you understand. She, we took her straight from daycare. We went to SMC across the street, which has this huge grassy area. We were there for an hour and a half. She was walking. We were playing with the ball. She was so happy. It got to a point where I was like, we, we still need to I, I have to make dinner. It's not even like dinner's ready. I have to go make dinner and then give her dinner and then bathe her. And she always goes to sleep around seven, which right, normally it was, seven, late already. it was already late. So I'm like, we gotta go. She, we try to put her in the stroller. She starts losing her mind, like squirming out of the thing. And I'm like, maybe she just wants to be held. I, I hold her. She starts trying to squirm out of my arms. John Liam tries. We tried to put her on the floor. Maybe she wants to walk and be independent nothing. We're like, we just got to walk. We got to start going home. We didn't have our pacifier. So we're like, maybe when we get home and we give her the pacifier, she'll calm down. That usually does. It, it sounded like we had kidnapped this child because she was screaming her head off from SMC all the way back home, which is like eight, eight to 10 minute walk. Okay. I I'm, I'm like, by the time so we get it home, wasn't 20 minutes as you 
initially reported? No, it wasn't 20 minutes. It was, but, okay. but, but not like, uh, uh, it was like, ah, yeah, yeah, screaming. And I just keep thinking when we get home and she has that date, she's going to be fine. When we get home, she'll be fine. We get home. I give her the date. She shoves it away. We try to, again, pick her up, nothing, try to give her milk, try to give her water, anything. We're like, something is going on. And then like, she gets on the floor, like on her back and starts like gyrating, like just kicking and kicking and moving her arms up and down. And I start bawling and I'm like, call 911, call 911. This is like, uh, this is an emergency. Like, And John Liam thought that you should call 911? John Liam, we were just so concerned. He right. was not on board with that. He was like, let's call the doctor first. The doctor right. was still like five minutes until they were closing. So I call the doctor. I'm crying on the phone. It's not even our doctor. It's somebody else. And I was like, please, this I've never seen her like this. This is not like her. And they're like, how fast can you get here? I'm like, we're getting in the car. We're getting in the car. We get in the car. She sort of calms down in the car. We get there. The doctor checks out every freaking part of her body. And she's like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she's a hundred percent fine I'm, welcome to toddlerhood she was like I think she may have had her first tan- tantrum and I was just I was so embarrassed because I was like it's crazy that like I you was like tantrums. we're going you to have be- tantrums like that all the time babe it's crazy but it's Gabby just, didn't have them but you it's did. it's weird because that's not Lola like it's just weird because it's this is so out what of is Lola? Character. she's only been on the planet for 15 months it or doesn't matter months. for You'll the know. past 15 months this is not normal so I right, was right. so concerned I was like and she's bleeding internally like that's what no. I thought I was like she's well bleeding you know what internally. you're gonna just be ready for like seeing lots of changes in her because she's very strong-willed she is your daughter she yes. has an idea in her head of how she wants to do things and she can't communicate that. So it's frustrating to her, but she's very clear on what she wants, but it frustrates her that she can't communicate. And her only way of communicating that she's mad is screaming. So, yeah. well, you said, I, I texted my group chat with my mom and my sister and telling them like, I'm like still crying. It's, it's, it's like eight o'clock at night. I this was happened. joking, everybody. I was okay. joking. I was trying to make light of it. I'm, st- okay. I, I'm like trying to like text my mom and my sister being like, this is what happened. I'm like, so freaked out. I'm not doing well, whatever. And then my mom is like, this is what, this is what you said. What you said, but uh, from Lola, right? Like I was, I was interpreting what Lola she said. Thought. I think I know what she was trying to tell you. I can translate if you want. I said, I don't want to hear this. And Kathy said, this is going to be rude. And I go, whatever insult it is. And she goes, yes, you do. She goes, so today, this is the perspective from Lola that she's writing. So today I went to daycare all day long. I didn't cry at all. You walked away happy and guilt-free. Then you took me to the park because I was so good. And just when I was starting to enjoy myself with both my parents, not the weird strangers you left me with all day who gave me a stupid tiny pumpkin and one and only one finger paint, you decide it's time to go. Fuck that, man. And I was mm. like, that's I was probably at, what she thought. That's so unfair to say because you was choking. You make, but you think it's easy to just like. Uh, there's no, never. I don't know. Tell me how. Tell me off. how hard it is. Is it? But I've never done it. But how? How does that work? Can I? Do, just a reminder. Lola has been in daycare for three weeks. This is still very new okay. to us. I, that's why I'm, I, every time they send me a video or a photo, I send it to you guys. Cause I'm like, oh, I drop you off time. every day and I cried every day. And I, and I took you to daycare sooner than most people would pay, take people to daycare. And I endured criticism and everything else and fuck everybody. I don't care. You turned out amazing. I was a working mom. You right. guys turned out so great. Have some sympathy and, is what and I'm telling have, you. I, I was joking. Ugh, but I, but I had just been telling you, like, I'm still crying. Like I'm still crying. I know, and so I wanted you to snap of out of it. Okay. Well, I, I didn't need that at the time. And I did okay, feel well, guilty. I'm so sorry. And by the way, my reaction was, okay, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about the stuff that happens like that with my mom and sister, because it, it makes me feel bad. It literally not with your sister. Your sister bad. does nothing wrong. The poor, that just met in the every, group, right. she always I says mean, nice in the group text. Like yeah. I'm going to send you guys the videos and photos of her happening. Right. And then you'll I'm not just tell, tell her. You, yeah. I'm just not tell her tell you when things are bad because it's oh, like, okay. you know, you're like, okay, oh, well yeah. you've lost your sense of humor, girl. I didn't. I'm Parenting, just, it's still you sense- have to parent with a sense of humor. You totally. really do. I'm you just- really do. She's a funny, quirky, really smart kid with a strong personality. You've seen that meme on Instagram that says, I hope she uses her sass 
to run a major company and not end up in a gang you know what i'm saying like like this it says something like that but a little girl that's very sassy like i hope she uses that to become like a fortune 500 you know ceo rather than end up in a gang in prison you know she right. is tough she is cool she I agree, is all I these agree. things so okay fine i am being you're, a gonna, you're gonna fit you're gonna face challenges and i want you to take them with a sense of humor because she's kind of like a trip and she's also a gift and let's just laugh at it and if it's dangerous and whatever yes you take her to the doctor and you're gonna have a lot of firsts this is not the first time you're gonna freak out it's just like we'll never forget her first tantrum because we almost went oh, to the yeah. hospital <laughs> And one day you might just do what I did to you, which stopped the tantrums in their tracks. The, the, the pitcher of cold water. Yeah. You're an abusive parent. So let's get into some <laughs> gossip. <laughs> um, okay. We don't have that much actually, now that I'm looking at my list. Um, Beyonce released a trailer for her Renaissance tour movie that's coming to AMC. Yes. In near it's you, already out. December 1st. Oh, it's not out. I saw it today because I'm going to the movies. No, the trailer is out, but it doesn't come oh, out. I saw it on Fandango. Because you can you can pre-order. Oh, you can pre-order. The same like, way okay. you can do with Taylor Swift, which by the way, did you know, hold on, now I'm trying to think. Did you know uh, that? Are we going to talk about Taylor Swift? Can we also talk about Joe Jonas? The ticket, Please. shut up. The ticket prices for Taylor Swift's movie are 1989. $19.89. And then for the That's kids, cute. it's like 13 something. How much is it for seniors? I don't know. You, you'll let us know when you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so Beyonce's Renaissance movie and Taylor Swift's. Are you going to see that show? I'm going to see both because I wanted to go to the concerts, but I was like, I'm not going to. A I'm going to take concert. Lola in December to see uh, Beyonce. You should. She would I'm love good. it. My favorite part of the trailer of the Beyonce like Renaissance movie trailer was when she says to the camera, I have transitioned into a different animal. And I was like, oof, I feel that. I love I feel that. that too. I feel I've that transitioned too. into a different animal, a more sensitive which, animal. Which means that you really totally, <laughs> which means you acknowledge that you were always an animal. We all are animals. Women we're are animals. animals in like a good way. Anyways, I'm really excited about it. I love, listen, you really don't ever have to go to a concert ever again, because a lot of people that you love are just creating content from the yeah. concerts. And then you can watch them at home yeah. with like a glass of wine, some sugar fish, and like, you can take bathroom breaks whenever you but want. Not sugar fish. Jesus Christ. Not sugar fish. You hate sugar fish. I hate sugar fish. My mom asked for spicy mayo at sugar fish and they're like, mm. uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, <laughs> forgive me. I am such a pedestrian sushi eater. You are. Okay. Sorry. Um, so I'm excited about that. Good. <laughs> That's thoughts? your gossip? Is that gossip? No, no, I'm happy that you're excited. Um, just very happy. I'm not particularly excited about it, but thanks. But you'll for watch it. You'll watch it. I will watch it. I will, yeah. And then you'll come here telling us, like, I think Beyonce's overrated. And we'll be like, okay. No, I like ahead. Beyonce more than Taylor Swift. Okay. Whatever. I'll I take think, that. I think it's so funny all the the things on Instagram of women telling their husbands <laughs> that Taylor Swift put that guy, whatever case Kelsey, whatever on the map. That is Kelsey. Yeah. <laughs> the husbands are going, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> and like it, it's just like so funny. She goes, "Yeah, no, he he blew up. He blew up because of her." It is funny. It is yeah. funny. I like it. His, his brother is very happy because they're. Podcast, podcast was always up. doing well but now it's killing no it's number so, one it's yeah, okay so so what can she do for us what have you done for us lately? let me Jane? tell you jolene had a great point he said do you think that this is all publicity for taylor and i'm like publicity for what and he goes for her movie and i was like whoa yes because if you get the nfl it's a machine. Girlies, if you get some yeah. nfl people like then you have the whole country <laughs> like then you have everybody no for real no, you still need the nascar people yeah, but NASCAR people and football people feel the same, right? They're not the same. They're different people. You know, some people are going to be offended by that statement. Oh, I really doubt it. And if they are, come Don't find say me. it. <laughs> don't say I it. I don't care. Um, okay, my next order of business. Pam, uh, I was like. You like it. I know. I saw it. Pamela Anderson went makeup free at Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. And I, I love it for her. I loved it. Let me tell you. 
there was a, a, I posted it on our Instagram, but it was like a get ready with me from Vogue or, or whatever. And she had no glam team. She had no Wrangler. She had no nothing. It was just her in the room putting on these and outfits. I love that. And I was like, it was just refreshing. It was just like, yeah, man. How did you think she looked? Uh, listen, a, a little CC cream would have gone a long way. And then like a little lip balm or something like a, like a rose. Listen, you guys, I size. wear, first of all, I am super pale. You're saying that I have a lot of blush. You, ma'am, have a lot of blush. I pay. I openly talk about how I love blush and I'm a big you blush You don't have girl. this blush. This is the most viral blush right now. I'm so happy for you. Look, this part is cream. Pamela Anderson's rolling in her grave. You put Listen, it's, it's not a it's, amount. It's, it's, huh? You put such a little amount. Well, because when you're older, less is more. Um. It's it's not a cheap blush, but it's not $95 Gucci blush, but it's good. And it's three. Anyway, Are you being we'll, paid? Put the, <laughs> we'll, pay, we'll pay, put the details in the link and find we, subscribe. We actually won't, but anyways. I know. Uh, somebody's going to ask you. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so here's here's viewers. Let's hear your hot Followers thing. of my social media. I wear makeup for your protection. Okay. Her makeup for you no she didn't look good she mm. looked ratchet mm. <laughs> she did she did at a certain point in your life it, how not, old is she 56 she looks older than me she's 56 yeah i read it she's 56 but you know this is the thing about age what people don't realize because a lot of people go like oh but you're this and you're that and then so and so is this age and they look so much older than you it's not about age. It's about mileage. We're like a car. We've talked about And this. there's a lot of women that have the a radiance. lot more mileage. Huh? Losing yeah, a radius. You know, they, 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 some, look, my dad was a car dealer. And anybody that knows about the black book, there are some people that are mint condition and some people that are rough book, you know? And she's kind of rough book. Ridden hard and put away wet. I thought the... Um... The sentiment behind it was really nice. I like the sentiment. I don't Where like she was like, she also said like her makeup artist passed away and she was just like, I'm at, like, I don't want anybody doing my makeup except this person. Also, I'm at Paris Fashion Week where like, I don't want to compete with the clothes. Like, I'm just going to wear them. And I'm like, I think what's beautiful is, look, I, I love makeup. I love my favorite part of getting ready is putting on makeup. It's therapeutic makeup. for me. It's the best. But if you're putting on makeup and you're walking out and you're not confident with the makeup on, you look like shit. And the fact that Pamela Anderson was makeup free, but was like owning it, right. she looked great. By the way, she... do you have friends that if they wear makeup or too much makeup, they look worse? Totally. If people tend to be like very natural, they wear too much makeup, they they look like drag queens, they look bad. So they're better off with a more natural look. But well, I, drag I just queen didn't is think- not an insult because drag queens- know how to put on makeup so it's they, yes it's but you clear. but but you could tell it's theatrical right. and these people that are very natural then look theatrical and i know that this is not what they're going for um i think she should um, come closer to i think oh and, sorry oh, i think oh, hold on stop for a second come closer to your mic and stop screaming <laughs> you're absolutely screaming. okay so do you understand that the things that you're saying are inconsistent come closer to your mic because you can't hear me and stop screaming. I'm saying come closer to your mic because you're screaming and it sounds echoey. Oh, okay. And, and then, so just like talk at a normal volume into your Do mic. Do you realize <laughs> how many times during the 24 minutes that we've been on, you have criticized me, put me down and made me feel bad about myself. Thank God I have very. Do you know how many times you've cut me off? <laughs> well, I know, but I have. Also, ADHD. I haven't made you feel bad. How have I made you feel bad? Um, I forgot, but you're the I one who made, an, I, I was saying you made me feel bad about the daycare because you're sensitive, right? Okay. So what's going on? <laughs> There's a lot of contradictions. Okay. Here. Um, wait, I was going to say something. I was having an ADHD Pamela moment. Pamela Anderson, I, makeup, people who wear makeup. Oh yeah. By the way, AD, AD, you know, unrelated, but related. I hate Charlotte Tilbury, the person. Oh, I can't stand her. Anymore. But not have but you seen you her? like her makeup? No, no, no. I'm not a big. First of all, that pillow talk does not look good on everybody. I don't like that. I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, no. It's I, you have to have olive skin for that to work on you. But uh, <laughs> everything looks good on you, babe. Uh, you know, oh. you're a fucking goddess. But like, um, generally, it doesn't work on everybody. And if you look at her when she's out, she's all like 
shiny and glittery and she's always hanging out with she's just a lot mm. no, i don't like her okay plus i have found copycats of all her stuff a lot cheaper on amazon yeah well that's a, that's a, anything that's good you know you're gonna find the dupe yeah this is a vivian yeah. westwood dupe is it yep amazon is you know amazon Wait, you should amazon. you should start putting up your amazon store thing because there's okay. so much stuff so here's the thing i created an amazon affiliate thing where i yeah. could like put my link if people clicked it then i would get like a commission on it and then they said that I, I was like not qualified anymore. And I was oh, like, okay. I guess well, nobody's I clicking one, on the link. <laughs> I have one at a higher, like, um, you know, commission, by the way, the commission is shit. People would have to buy I'm a sure. lot. I know, I know. But, 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 like... but because I don't do it, but they keep calling me. So maybe you can just use mine. Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's annoying because I had started, like I started a highlight thing where I was like, oh, maybe every week I'll just like, why don't you I qualify buy. anymore? Because you don't have enough. I think because I don't have enough followers and stuff and I don't think enough people were clicking on it, which makes sense. It's not like I have a, a bajillion followers, but I do buy a lot of stuff on Amazon for like baby stuff that I'm like, if people have kids, like this is helpful. I also just bought a top. That I I'm think wearing... you need to call and have a call speak. with them. Sorry. No, because I've gone through this, not, not me, but for other stuff, you need to call them because it doesn't make sense for them to get rid of you because anybody can do that. I know. Well, yeah, anybody can do I that. just bought a top from Amazon that I'm wearing to like a 40th birthday dinner tomorrow. That's so cute. It was $12 and it's like a really cute top. And I'm like, I would have posted well, send me this. the picture, send and me I, the picture. Yeah. I'll post it and the link. I'm not I'll post it in the link and I'll it. give you the, huh? <laughs> I'm, not gonna oh, you're gonna it. I'm gonna gatekeep now. If you don't, if you don't let me be an, an affiliate Amazon, I'm not gonna share my shit with anybody. I just think you need to call them and talk to them, but whatever. Okay. Enough Anyways. of that. And we haven't even gone up that. Okay. No. Wait, what um, other stuff? The last thing was um, David Beckham has a documentary on Netflix yeah. called Beckham. And I watched the first episode and I, <laughs> I was like, I was like 20 minutes in and I was like, this is so interesting. I'm going to scrub through and try to find Victoria because that's all I can. <laughs> and then she talked about how he cheated on her or whatever. No, well, I didn't even watch that part. I only watched the first episode, but it was really funny that she's like sitting down and they're in their house, whatever. And she's sitting down alone talking and she's like, we're working people. We work very hard. Yeah. And then Beck David comes in from like off camera and he's like, are you telling the truth? Are you telling the truth? And she's like, yes, I'm telling the truth. He's like, tell them what call your dad drove when you were younger. She's like, well, that's a complicated answer. He's like, no, tell them the call that you drove. Well, it's a long story. It's like, tell them one word answer the car. She goes, my dad drove a Rolls Royce when I was younger. And then he just goes, thank you. And he like closes the door. And she's just like, that's cute. <laughs> it's They're so cute. funny. I'm like, it's just real, you know? And then like, he's talking about, how she's like a pain in the ass, but he's like, I love her or whatever. It's just like very real. And I loved it. I've only nice. watched one episode. Still love okay. it. Okay. Nice. That's all I have for gossip. I have Bravo okay. bullshit. Uh, the, uh, okay. So gossip. That's right. I, I know that you have your You're structure. just itching itching to talk about miami trailer i no, know I'm, you want i want to talk about mauricio oh boy okay let's talk about mauricio let's get into bravo bullshit okay well mauricio's doing really really badly on dancing with the stars but the fans are keeping him in <laughs> but he's such a broken man i'm so sad for him i am so do you not sad for him i haven't been watching so i can't women I, go I crazy have... on that show like why they had such a happy you know what i mean like they were they're not that they're not a beautiful family anyway, but it was so unnecessary for this to happen. And my heart is broken well, for them. Did you watch the Housewives of Beverly Hills trailer? Yeah. And it killed me to see those girls crying and all that stuff. I think Kyle's being very self-indulgent. I think oh, favorite word alert. ultimately the thing that is responsible for the demise of this marriage is Ozempic. She she lost a lot of weight. She thinks, oh, I'm hot. Let me try vaginas. And she went crazy. What's going on? You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Let me you. try. Let me let me be whatever. Let me just explore my sexuality and yeah, all its glory. You're a married woman. But you what if she was you mommy? Come on. Look, no, yes. What if she was unfulfilled? 
What if she was like, this isn't working Think and about I'm not that getting is what I self-indulgent. There are times in your life where you're not going to always be fulfilled, okay? When you make a commitment to somebody and you're with somebody, there are some times you're going to feel kind of a little icky about that person. Every once in a while, it's like, God, he's such a dick. But then afterwards, you realize why you're, or he or she or whatever. And then you realize why you're with that person and you deal with the ups and downs of life together. You don't say like, I don't think he's fulfilling me. I was told this by some psychic, like, come on. But what if she has been deep down repressing some, I don't think so because that's not what we've seen, but you, but you don't know I'm rep- repressing feelings, like really deep, dark feelings of like okay. being liking women. You wouldn't see that. You know what I mean? Like, right. Okay. Well, maybe. Okay. That maybe I, I, I think that it just so if there wouldn't have been a dramatic weight loss and all those other things like the breast implant, like removing her breast implants and doing another facelift and doing all the stuff that she's done, then I would say yes. If she's just being regular old Kyle and now it's like, I'm just not fulfilled. No, but she got extra hot and then now she's having, so in her new package, she's unfulfilled. That is self-indulgent. You it's make what, a commitment to somebody, you make a commitment, not only to somebody, to your children, you know, she has an amazing life. He's given her an amazing life. Okay. It's not because of her now. Yep. Yeah, whatever. She bought her all the Birkins she wanted, which by the way, Birkins are now low brow. Did you know that? No, you know how like on, t- on New York times and, and town and country, like highbrow and lowbrow things, they're considered lowbrow because too many housewives have them. Isn't that terrible? Yeah. Anyway, unrelated. She got all everything she wanted. She was always jealous of Kathy because Kathy was married to the son of Conrad Hilton and blah, blah, blah. And then this little Mexican Jewish guy created an empire. Like kudos to him, gave her everything she could ever want. She loses 20 pounds and now I'm a lesbian. You sound like Jeff Lewis in a bad way. Okay, whatever. You Whatever. Men do this all the time. Men work out, s- suddenly start working out. No, they don't. When men do that, long. they're cheating. Right. When men do that, if John Liam starts getting ripped like Jesus and loses the dad bod, go conduct an you. investigation. Go conduct an investigation. Bod. He has a dad bod and you love it and he loves it. Okay, fine. <laughs> it's a cute dad bod. It's not like a fat guy. Okay, all I'm saying is I don't disagree that like she's, I I think she's doing things for herself, but I think this woman got married very, very young and then got divorced and then got married again, very young. And then like, what do you call it? 27 years. I was going to say changed to Judaism, but it's converted to to Judaism for a man and then had a million kids. And I think she is allowed to change her mind. People are allowed to change your mind. As Taylor Swift said, People are people and sometimes you okay. change. All right. Mind. So, so let me just give you this example. Tomorrow, Do not John do, Liam don't. doubles up on the athletic greens. He starts working out <laughs> keto genesis, intermittent fasting, three a days. And he's looking hot, AF, right? It's like super hot. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden he is just walking different he's like you know papi chulo and then he finds that he is inexplicably (laughs) drawn to and attracted to alec egan (laughs) okay alec egan is his best friend for anybody curious and um he tells you i love you Mm -hmm. but i'm not in love with you which is that stupid thing all men say Mm -hmm. and never to me uh and, you know, you and Lola are great. You guys are great. Mm-hmm. But it's just not, you know. It's not doing it for you. It's for not us doing anymore. it for me anymore. You're going to say, go in peace. I'm going to say, go with God because I got Joe on the back burner. Remember, it's easy to leave when you got somebody on the back burner. You, by the way, babe, I know this no, is going to be talking to you. You don't have Joe on the back burner. <laughs> you don't know that. You don't know that. You okay. Anyway, that. Beba, it's a tough, it's a tough pill to swallow. I understand. You have planned your I, whole I life with this think person. That you're making a lot of assumptions. You're making a lot of assumptions. I don't think you know the ins and outs of this marriage. I think I don't. I just don't know I, what's this going is a on. lot of circumstantial evidence. I am an officer of the court. Okay. <laughs> I have legal training. And based gonna... on this circumstantial evidence, I have made an educated 
hypothesis, an educated guess with Trisha's hypothesis, that is probably right because nine times out of 10, I'm right. And, and on this podcast, mm. have I been right most of the time? You yourself have to like, come yes, yes. Kneel before you are self. right. You are right. If you're an officer of the court, then I am an officer of the tort. Okay. So let's just keep it real. It's um, all torts should be another, another shirt that law students will buy. It's just going to say torts. For the merch. It's just going to say torts. It's all torts. No, it's all torts is really funny. When I tell you, I don't know what the hell torts is. And I, I don't want to know. No, I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to know. I'm not going to tell you. Um... <clears throat> Okay, let's move away from this. Okay. Let's move away from Mauricio. Oh, okay. Go ahead. What? Uh, what are we going to talk about? Oh, the Miami trailer. Yeah, let's talk about the Miami trailer drop. I want to know what you, you had thought about. Fe- you had feelings about it because of the Santa Maria of it all. That she, you were like, it's so sacrilegious. But I didn't I thought that to be that crazy. It's like, well, it's all it's all crazy all the time these it's there fires. listen so i know like, where it comes from like well not i know where it comes from lourdes vows told me that that she thought that the um motivate not motivation but the um what's the thing the whenever you based on something or you've seen something else whatever that's called what's the word i'm forgetting all the words lately so does, I don't know okay uh, it is uh inspired, inspired by, by <laughs> um the scene in godfather where they're in church and then they're killing everybody oh oh oh, oh okay. and so so um she goes it's kind of that's like kind of what they're doing and in this case what they're killing is their dignity oy, <laughs> but oy. i don't know uh, i i have catholic guilt you know 12 mm. years catholic school okay, I, I am no but wait i am more religious than people know because i don't talk about it but i pray every day i like the older i get it's a normal thing as you get older and i pray every day big god the girl. virgin mary was my dad's like you know how you have his favorite a, <laughs> his it was one. it was he would say no porque la virgencita mama, whatever you know my dad who was so whatever strong or whatever he would say that and so to hear somebody it it i didn't like it mm. it it i didn't like it and um it it affected me negatively and then then people are writing to me saying that there's a petition and that they're signing a petition to have okay, it removed it's like, i'm not doing any of, right right i'm not this is a creative whatever and i get it i didn't i, I didn't even respond to that but I didn't love it. And I do mm. know here's some insider information that someone else mm-hmm. was asked to read or recite that. And they said, and no. they turned right with somebody with better. English, Eso and, no lo hace. and, and she said, no, and I'm not going to say who it is, but, um, she said, so no. you were affected by it. I what, was, what, how and I it? wouldn't have done it like me. They would have asked me, Hey, can you, re-? and I would have said, no, you know, do I say like, oh no, that's it. Take me out of the show. Of course not. I understand that it's a creative, you know, thing and it is shocking and it makes you want to watch, right? Like it, it's good, but it's, it's a great trailer. That's the whole, it's point. a great trailer, but it, I didn't love that. I was just say I didn't love that part. How does it feel for you when I do this? I, I don't, you know, I think sometimes those things are funny like you know uh, like when you posted the thing about on 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 I did uh, the sign of the cross by the way yeah but the tiktok when you did the tiktok thing of mark uh Wahlberg you know doing the sign of the cross a million times I was really that is funny I was Glenda and and Rob and I would laugh a lot at at people who pray everywhere they would go to like Burger King or whatever and sit there with their junior whopper with cheese and then go like this and pray okay that's fine it it was the juxtaposition of the prayer the with the whole the ugliness total. of like the screaming and fuck you and this and that. It just it it it, it, it the shocked me. No, it no, it just shocked me. It just and shocked. that was the point. And so they succeeded. I'm not saying it's a bad trailer. I'm saying it was I felt Catholic guilt. That's all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, but I do think it's gonna be a great season. Yeah, I feel the same. I think Miami and, and Beverly Hills are going to just be, they're going to be a good watch. But yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I don't know anymore about anything <laughs> about Housewives stuff. Gandhi yeah. has declared officially never watch him again. that she's done with Housewives. And I honestly, I mean, I've been talking about it so much on the podcast, like how it's starting to feel dark. Mm-hmm. I, I was like, but they're aware I, of that. And that's why it. they've 
that's why they've turned to that whole kind of the whole feeling that you get when you watch New York. I love New York. That isn't dark. And so, you know, well, Andy's no dummy. He's, he's, he's aware. Sick. He's, he's got to clean it up because we're going from Bravo to TLC territory. And there's a reason why I don't watch the 90 day fiancés, the, my big fat, um, fabulous, actually my big fat, fabulous life is good, but like the hoarder shows that whatever, I mean, the there's a reason shows why shows are so dark. No, all those TLC shows are exploitative of people who are in like really bad spots. And like, that's what it's starting to feel like in the Bravo universe. What and also the Bravo to- universe is that people start in a good spot and the well, show brings out things in themselves. Well, you start having to collect your check. And in order to collect your check, you need to bring something to the table. And people are like, let's bring violence. Let's bring, I'm going to tear your family apart. Let's bring, I'm going to tear your let's business do illegal apart. Shit. It's really bad. And like, at a certain point, it's like, if, if it doesn't turn into like what New York is doing, like they should it really will. consider because I, I know that there was stuff with Potomac and, and New Jersey recently, like the new girl from New Jersey and somebody else got into a physical altercation and Potomac, I think like police had to come. If they're putting that stuff in the show, like I might have to bow out of that too, because I'm like, right. I don't want to watch women physically fighting each other. That's not what I'm Look, here I got to tell you, I got to tell you one thing I've noticed like about Miami, because I know some of these women like in real life, uh, you know, obviously, um, and with Nicole in particular, Nic- Nicole has such a fabulous life. Like seriously, you know, if we watch, I don't want to watch these shows to see somebody that lives regular, right? I want something that's a little bit, and Nicole has yeah. an aspirational life, right? Yes. They just, they just chart. Well, no, Anthony got this crazy yacht, went to St. Tropez, the South of France, Sardinia, this and that with the most beautiful people, their friends, you know, she has friends that are gorgeous. Sure, you sure, know, sure. huh? Sure. Whatever. But no, her friends are all young and pretty and married to people, you know, and, and a lot of them, you know, she has a friend that's gorgeous. It's a pediatrician and the Eva Menon whose husband is uh, whatever these, I would love to see more of those people on Miami and really see Miami the way it is. Not just people trying to put pieces together to appear more affluent than they actually are real and affluent and all see these Miami. shows, right? So like, but- you're expecting that of Miami. It's like, you should expect that of all of them. No, I, <laughs> but Beverly I mean? Hills is real affluence. What? Is it Beverly Erica ha- Jane? No, because Erica Jane admits to not every single one, but there's real affluence. Gina throughout. from OC, like Bryn from New York. There's people who are not. Of course, not there's rich. always one muerta de hambre there, right? I get that. But to have more, I'm not saying to get rid of everybody. I'm just saying. Add a little bit more of that. I think we'd really enjoy seeing that. I agree. People have with childbearing to, years, things like that. Ha- but it's hard to to lock down those people. I know for New they York, don't want to do that because right. they have too much to lose. For Agreed. New York, they were asking a lot of people, like Hannah Bronfman from who lives in yeah. New York, who's like I know my, my yeah. age plus like maybe two years older or whatever. Same with Ariel Charnas, like the yeah something oh, but- girl. Like those people who like you would want to see their lives. They have like little kids. They I wouldn't want to see in this her beautiful New York apartment. Like those people are like, no, I'm all, I'm all good. I I'm have my good. life. <laughs> right. Which a lot of people wonder why Nicole does what she does. I understand why Nicole is doing it. I understand that Nicole has tremendous potential for creating a brand because she checks so many boxes and her life was Anthony is it doesn't make it easy for her to be in an operating room at five o'clock in the morning three times a week and have whatever. So that makes sense to me. I'd never criticize her for people like, Oh, how could she? It's like, no, I think, I think it makes sense. I think it's smart. Um, And she knows how to, you know, I think she knows how to handle it, but um, I'd like to see more of that in Miami. So it doesn't continue to get so dark. And I'm pretty sure, um, you know, some of the stuff they showed like Alexia having financial issues, which I don't know if that's true or not, but she probably doesn't really like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that they showed that. Um, but we'd have to we'll see because I don't even know we'll where see. all that stuff comes from. Yeah, yeah. I I will say as a producer who works in this industry, like a lot of these super tease trailers are like, you know, they they ham it up when it's like when you watch the show, you're like, if you really look back at the super tease and the end of the show, you're like, where was that thing that they mentioned? No, it's no, like- no. But I think no. But but we know how how pop works. I really think they have the stuff. Yeah, I do think they have the stuff. Um, okay. Let's talk about New York. Did you watch New York? 
Oh, yeah, but which one was it? Because that was last Sunday. And so um, this was jessel in lingerie oh yeah with her, which by the way jessel looked um, incredible yeah, yeah, jessel looked good in, in lingerie, lingerie but jessel did not have sex with her husband oh no of course not but like she looked great in that lingerie and i was like yeah girl get it she yeah. has a great body yeah and he was like whoa you could tell he was like i haven't seen this in a very long time yeah and i don't think he's that interested in seeing that and hit and i feel like him going to i do understand the mileage challenge because i've done it to get to executive platinum and stuff they tell you you know you have to do this many miles no, in this short time but that's crazy going to vietnam for like 24 hours i would do it i'm so happy on a plane if it's oh, if it's I business can, class, first class, i would do it oh, oh in no, heaven no, no. i would catch up on work i would catch up on sleep nobody could call me Oh my God, me, uh -huh. heaven, heaven. You, would, you would couldn't pay me. I, I won't. Well, but no. then, yeah, but we're different. I could not do that. It's so crazy. You don't. Also, it's just so clear that he wants to get the hell away from his life and his family. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe, maybe. He, yeah. And also, to be fair, like when she went on that trip and then apparently he took he, care of him the whole time. And like, I, I mean, it's seemingly with no help. Two, two little kids like that for like however many days she was gone like two or three days I was like that's no joke that and, who, would... and, and like they look like they're pretty you know crazy a handful. They, they don't stop I would I yeah. would oh god yeah I didn't I felt bad for him but yeah not that bad I think did you see OC reunion yes hold on wait I just want to say oh. one more thing for New York the conversation that Aaron and her husband had about like threesomes or like potentially going outside of the marriage for sex I was like I am obsessed with the openness that they're that that they're like talking about their because I think a lot of times with housewives, like especially when it comes to, to their relationships, they're very private. I love that we're hearing about Jessel not having sex with her husband for a year and like trying to figure that out. I love that Erin and her husband are openly in a double date situation talking about like, yeah, I mean, like sex is important. Well, what she's make sure saying is that she's alive. She's not going to be in a sexless marriage. You know, right. sex is very important to her. But, so. and, and I was like, but I'm like, I'm so, I was just so into the fact that they were just like, yeah, whatever. This is like, this is life. This is what we're doing. This yeah. is how we operate. Yeah. I'm like, yes, I want to hear about it. I want to hear about you guys bringing in a third. <laughs> it's incredible. It's incredible. I was it's weird that the husband would be willing to bring in a guy. No, he's not. That oh, was okay. okay. He he was like, she's like, I would want it to be another guy. And he's like, I don't want that. And he's like, well, then I don't know where we go from here. And it's like, this is so good. I yeah. felt like a freaking fly. I really wall. think that, that these younger girls and just that group of that dynamic and that group of women is very, they're very honest. Oh my God. Speaking of Jessel, did you see what she said on Watch What Happens Live about Bethany? Yeah. Bethany, listen, by the way, Bethany put out the other day, like a five or six page something where she like wrote I know, and you had to, I, 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 I didn't, like, I could not, not interested, not interested. Either, in what you isn't have that terrible? I don't know not, one person that read it dead in the, dirt. I need somebody to give me the cliff notes because I just yeah, don't, but I'm it's curious. Not gonna be us. It's yeah. Not gonna okay. Be us. Well, if anybody read it, please let us know. Um, it's okay. probably more of the same. Yeah. Let's talk part one of OC reunion. Yeah. Did you hear Emily uh, say, by the way, just to, because I said this on last week's episode where I was like, all these women talk about Taylor being bisexual before Taylor came out, Emily said, oh, like someone said to her, like, oh, I think she's going to sit next to you. She's like, oh, she'll probably try to lick my boobs. And I was like, this is so crazy. It's so fucked up what these I women understand. are doing. You know, it's not that, Beba, people that are older, we they haven't learned how to communicate in a way that people your age find appropriate we are always going to be it's a little bit even appropriate we, i think they just don't even they cannot compute they're like how do you we like we cannot women? compute make no sense we you're like compute. kyle is a lesbian because she's on ozempic it's like no bitch, no as, it. that is not what what i said i said, said she's that not she hot. isn't okay no 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 this is what i'm saying i'm gonna make this very clear and it's not come for me cancel me i don't care that is not what i'm saying I am saying that what's happening in the world now is that sexuality has become a very kind of fluid thing, right? We are no longer attracted or most people, especially younger people, don't consider attraction based on the vessel. You're right? not confined to one You're, gender. It's not about the vessel. You're talking the essence of a person, the personality, the this, the vibe, the whatever vibe, the fuck you want to call it. Riz. But it's not, 
it doesn't matter what parts you have, or if you have no parts, or if you're a hermaphrodite, or if you're transgender, if you're non-binary, it doesn't matter. I understand that because ultimately I really think that's what we're drawn for. And we are so, my generation and older and many people, even young people are so, there's a box, male, female, and that's what we're used to. We've been used to it for a long time. So it's hard to get out of that. But I do understand the concept. Right. What I'm saying is that because she has a 26-year-old girlfriend now, you don't understand the dynamic of a... Um, older person with a younger Not an, only an older person, a, a midlife crisis. <laughs> a midlife crisis makes you want to feel young, act young, and do things that sure. younger people would do. Getting the Porsche, getting the fast car, getting the motorcycle, getting the tattoos, and behaving as a Zoomer or a millennial, like, oh, I get the whole sexuality thing. That's what I think she's doing. Mm, okay. 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 Does that make sense to you? I'm sorry that I don't explain it as concisely as you'd like. That's what I think she's doing. And I think that she doesn't have the right to give herself that because she's made a commitment to her family and to whatever. And, and I think that it's, the more evidence that that's what she's doing is the fact that she lost weight and, you know, thinks that she's hot and whatever. And so those things coming together doesn't seem authentic that she's been struggling for 20 years, trying to keep down the fact that she really loves women. So how, so how would it be okay for her to do that? For her to be like, I'm leaving Mauricio having a significant amount of time in between that and then doing that? Would that work? I think there needs to be a significant amount of time. I think we don't know what she's doing. You're going to say, you don't know that she's not doing that, that she needs to do counseling, that she needs to do counseling with him, that she needs to, he's been very open. They says they're separated now that they're going to try, you know, whatever, but they haven't talked about doing counseling. They haven't, you know, her sitting there with her family is not enough. This is big. So I do think step away, see how you feel, work on yourself, see, you know, whatever. I I, I don't like what she's doing. I think she's going to regret it. Hmm. You know, I think she's going to regret it. She's, she's in a situation with some kid. Think about it. A kid, somebody that she can be their mother 10 times. You know what I mean? But don't you think that if that's like where you're at, where you're like throwing it all, not throwing it all away, that's rude to say, but just putting aside your husband that you've been with for X that amount that of years, something? that it's like, it must be no, done, because, done I, so because even if it's, even if it's over with this girl in two weeks, she'll still be like liberated and be like, well, at least I'm not in this marriage wait. with this guy. Let's you know? wait till Mauricio find somebody and find, and she's very competitive and watch her go crazy. Yeah. I'm she's telling jealous. you she that, is that very she is jealous. very jealous. And I think that that could happen. I think, I think that, um, she, I, I just think that the whole, the way that things happen, we were able to see it all on social media. She's not I the know. brightest thing. You know what I'm saying? She, she, there were many tells throughout the last few months of things that she was going through. And then as she was going through this kind of personal metamorphosis, uh, she um, met this girl and felt cool and felt mm. whatever. And, you know, or felt appreciated and loved and, and cared and for maybe for the first Mauricio time in a long time. has cheated on her for many right. years. We don't know that. I Well, there were a lot of rumors that there's that a lot of rumors. Happen. I'm just saying. Well, did you hear? Hold on. Did you hear in the in the Beverly Hills trailer where he said something like, oh, yeah, there's rumors about you having I'm an glad affair. I'm it's you this time. And she goes, at, at least it's me this time and not you. And he was right. like, whoa. And it's like, well, she's had to deal with this for a long time. There's been rumors many times it, throughout your entire relationship. And I also that think you've stepped out on, on the marriage. So like, right. I'm just saying and like, his show selling Beverly Hills, which he mentioned in a conversation that he had after <laughs> Dancing with the Stars says that th this is going to be part of that show because the cameras were going rolling, on right yeah they, they, he he also said that the cameras rolled you know they had the cameras roll again when the separation happened but also his show was like in the thick of it and i had said once much to your dismay and your criticism of me Why that are you coming from me right now i'm not, I'm not because I'm not saying anything i'm just no I'm not that let me hold let on me finish. i'm challenging you because you also i'm trying to help you understand you, too right. i'm not like okay i said once a long time ago that kyle probably had an issue with him having this show and being surrounded by such beautiful young girls yes, because you did say that. we all have those issues we all have those issues if the if my significant other was 24 hours a day, was 25 and 30 year olds with perfect everything, uh, you know, I'd probably feel you. a little, yeah, it would, 
So, so maybe that triggered her doing, working on herself physically. And then all of a sudden she says, Hey, wait, maybe me too. I don't know what it is. I'm just saying that she owes it to her children to handle this in a more, um, to just take it slow. You know what I mean? And maybe they are doing that. He said, they're not giving up. And I'm just, I don't know why I'm so affected by this. I really kind of maybe loved their relationship. Huh? Cause it might be a mirror. Maybe there's something maybe that's I'm coming up for you. No, I think what if you feel like you should have done more before you had a divorce with daddy? It feels uh, like you're really impassioned by this. Yeah. For- you know what? I, I don't want to, I don't want to say anything about that because that's not the case. <laughs> Okay. So I just said it. Um, I've never regretted it. Um, I, I don't think that my, mar- I've always told you, I don't think my marriage failed. I, I think it was successful for 23 years. And I think your father is happier now. Yes. And, and I, I think you are happier too now. I, I just don't think that we, we worked when we worked. Right. Right. So, so no, I, that's not it. Okay. But I do think, I do think. But there's something that's coming up. Yeah. I believe that, <laughs> that. If, if I could give anybody advice is that there's nothing like being married to the father of your children. Mm. You know, I couldn't do it because I couldn't, because, because we had so many things, you know, we worked together, we, whatever, it, there's it a part a that died. You understand? You could not bring it back. There was no CPR for that. And it's sad, but if you can, if you can salvage it, you then try. you should, because for a man, I can just tell you, if what you're into is women, a hole is a hole, is a hole. Jesus you know, Christ. I'm sorry. It, it gets old after a while. Everything is new for three years. For the first Aaron, years. It's Aaron happy, and happy, happy. It's like old oh, butterflies, whatever. And then the butterflies just come and go, you know, it's, it's your, it's your obligation to try to keep those butterflies alive. Anyway, this is a, a t- conversation for another time, but yes, I don't know why I'm so affected by that, but I wish they would work it out. And I think she's making a mistake. I think he's a good man. And I don't think that he cheats. And I don't have any reference for that. I just believe it. All right. Let's move away from your trigger. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I have one trigger. I have your, you are like a minefield. I'm like walking. It's like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, I'm not. Oh, you're not. I'm just, listen, the nature of this show is I challenge you, you challenge me. I challenge you, you challenge me. I'm just trying to make you a better person and you're trying to make me feel bad all the time. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, it's like, you can't just be like, la di da, say this. And I'm just, I'm not going to just be like, okie dokie, moving on. It's like, why are you so affected by this? It's a trigger. Okay. All right. Well, um, anything, I mean, the only other notes I have on OC is Emily gets in everyone's business. It's so annoying. She like lawyers her way through everything. It's so obnoxious. And I think everyone is hard on Heather. There, I said, I think they've been very hard on Heather, but I think Heather has one foot out. She just wants to be in Beverly Hills. uh, Yeah. And I do agree that Heather thinks she's better than everybody. Of course. But she does. She is. (laughs) No, she's not. No, she's not. I think she's the most normal. And I stand by that. Like, I think there's people there that are maybe what what is define normal. Look, normal is is having a sense of reality, like being in reality. And she, Heather is in reality. Her reality is so her, it's an altered reality. It's not where real people live, Beba. You know what I mean? Like, no, she doesn't have. I think just because you have a ton of money and you're living on like a different like level than everybody else, you can still be rooted in reality. But she's not not grounded. She can take in what people are saying and respond to it in like, in a way that you're like, yeah, that makes sense. You're like rooted in, you're grounded. You just like, she has, she has her, what, what's her favorite word? Her not lexicon. What's the word that she uses? Huh? She She uses a word that's not lexicon. That is her, 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 her constitution know the words that she uses her roof wait let me find let me find the i know because now i'll go it? crazy huh how are you gonna find it google what is the word that heather dubrow uh, uses con, um synonym oh okay yeah that's a good act that's wow a good give us all the lexicon synonyms let's hear it or just stay silent uh, synonyms for lexicon. What's another word? For Where is it? What is okay. a synonym for lexicon? Synonym. 
word book, vocabulary list. No, glossary, I did. Maybe lexicon finder. is not the vernacular. She says vernacular. vernacular. It's not part of my vernacular. Es una comimienta. Vernacular is not even a big word. It's not that it's that a big word. word. It has lexicon no place. Is a big word. No, it isn't. Well, okay, I'm whatever. The most point people is... wouldn't know lexicon is what I'm saying. Okay. Whereas I, vernacular, I, I think people would know. Okay. Okay. Uh, she is full of shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, a lot of people on there are full of shit. Um, yes. I Correct. think Jen is a very nice, good person. I think she's a bit of a sucker and uh, I feel bad for yeah. her, but she's, she has a good heart. Um, yeah, she does. I, I feel bad for her. She's going to get, oh God, she's going to get screwed so bad by this guy, but she's got to do it. She's got to do it. She's got to yeah, get screwed. Shannon. Oh my gosh, Shannon. What a disaster. I know what a disaster. And like, what a way to like the whole DUI thing and then her getting a DUI now is just like, ugh, it's yeah. tricky, tricky. And stuff. you know what? It, 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 it always gets to the point, like that's the 17th reunion. Think about how many years this has been on where people, not that everybody has been on there 17 years, but that people will say, I don't think I could do this anymore. Like there's that feeling. Everyone's threatening. Everyone's threatening yeah, to do yeah. that. It's, it's like, like, okay, go. There's 17,000 people waiting in the wings. What's weird just, is to... that like, I do feel though, every time I'm like, at, we start a reunion or we're like at the end of the reunion, my feeling is always like, I'm so glad it's over. Like that is always my feeling instead of like, oh, I'm so, it, it used By to the be way, like, can... oh, I'm sad. It, I can't wait for it to yeah, be yeah, yeah. It's now like... I'm just like, what a relief it's Yeah, done. it's like you finished, you finished some like marathon or something. Yeah. What did you think about their dresses? Oh, I like Taylor's dress. I hated her makeup. And I didn't like, like with the shoes, it was too matchy matchy, but everybody looked terrible. It looked really bad. Even I didn't I remember the great. dresses of, were there dresses, the intro dresses for Beverly Hills? I didn't yeah, notice those. Or at least their photos came out. Yeah, but I- In Miami, I did notice that the, the dress that was fantastic, the outfit was Lisa's. And usually she's never the one. The thing that's Nothing. a top and a wrap skirt- Nothing stood out to me on no. anybody for oh, OC, hers for Miami, for Beverly Hills. Like nothing is like, oh wow, I can't believe it. it's like. I'm like, no, no you guys no. are just but trying. It, but I think they, I think they all got looked it. pretty good. But I think that Lisa one looked the, the best. Yeah, yeah. Well, her outfit was just really cool. Um. Okay, that's all I got. I haven't quit this for an hour. Oh, okay, hit me. Uh, what is Schadenfreude? What is Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude? Mm -hmm. Does it have something to do with Freud? I didn't know. Okay, but is that a crazy question? Freud. Schadenfreude. <laughs> no. Schadenfreude. Can you give it to me in a sentence? Oh, God. Uh, Context is everything. Schadenfreude. Uh, dun, dun, dun. When I saw... When I saw, uh, well, okay, uh, I watched. I watched. Uh, when I saw, when I, I saw something on TV that was kind of tragic or whatever bad, it gave me feelings of. I uh, it inspired feelings or brought out feelings of Schadenfreude in me. When I watched something bad, yeah, it, um, it's just a terrible sentence, but it gives you <laughs> almost the answer. <laughs> There's only two ways it could go. It made you um, depressed? No. It made so you want to kill Freud somebody? Is, no. Schadenfreude is when you take pleasure in other people's uh, pain. pain. Wow. It's not being sadistic. It's, it's, uh, it's, it mean, it is, but it's called, let me see how Webster. Um, what is schadenfreude? Yeah. I want to see how they. The experience of pleasure, joy, or self-satisfaction that comes from learning of or witnessing the people's the misery and failures or humiliation of another. Yeah. Ooh. Joy derived from the misfortune of others. Of others, right. Schadenfreude. Okay. Right, so use, it, use it this weekend in casual conversation. I'm going to. I'm also going to use vernacular. Use vernacular. <laughs> use it when you go on vacation to Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm going to kill you. Okay. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, Bye, follow us you. at mommy issues, a pod at Bibba underscore Rada and a cooks Q O K S subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Apple podcasts and rate us, review us and five stars, please. And that's it. That's all we got. That's everything. And it's that's my it. birthday on Monday. 
I mean, on Sunday. <laughs> what day is it? My birthday is on Sunday. So if oh, you're listening to this on thanks a Thanks for reminding me, but I already gave you your gift. Yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Um, if you are listening to this on a Monday, you missed it and do not text me because you missed it. <laughs> no, for real, my gift the gift is to not text me because I hate answering. I hate it too. And by the way, it's so guys, bad. Here's what's happening. It's I'm copying and pasting my thank you with my emoji to everybody. I'm not giving you anything special. It's just you thank better you give and me I'm something. I'm not even gonna call you. You shouldn't. By the way, you didn't call me last year for my birthday. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> no, well, you know that birthdays aren't important to me at all. Okay. Well, what if they're important to me? I know, but are they? No, no. That's okay. I mean, unless it's like 35 or 40 or 45, like, I feel like every now five years, it's maybe yeah. something, but no, I'm 20. how old are you going to be? I'm going to be 24. Yeah. So, um, 44 for me. Crazy. I was a child bride and I had a baby very young. Yeah. No, I'm going to okay. be 30. I'm going to be 32. When Lola was, when I, when when I had a Lola, I was 26. That's so freaking crazy. But it was a different time. It was a different You were 26 time. and did you have a home? No. I mean, we lived in an apartment with two little babies and then we bought a house. Okay. Okay. Just... No, I did not have a home. I mean, Chicken. I had a home. I had a roof over my head. No, I know. I know. I know. Which bless up. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs>